Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you one of the most important knots to know in the climbing world. It's called the Munter Hitch, or otherwise known as the Italian Hitch. And why is it important? Well, it can get you out of some sticky situations because it can be used as an emergency belay device or an emergency rappel device. So let's go through it quickly. Easiest way to tie a Munter Hitch, strand of rope like so, cross your hands over, and then put them together like that knuckles together and what you have here are these two loops like so and I'm going to clip those with an HMS carabiner like so. So there we have the finished article if we just tighten that up a bit there we go. So that's what the Munt hitch should look like. So let's say that this is the climber's end okay and this is the belayer's end. If I want to bring up a second climber okay I would attach this carabiner onto the anchor system, okay? And I would just simply take in slack, like so. And notice how it flipped over there, that's perfectly normal. So taking in slack, taking in slack. And remember, if the climber falls, you grip this end of the rope tightly, keep your hand on the brake end of the rope at all times, and there will be enough friction created in this Munter Hitch here to arrest that fall. It doesn't take a huge amount of strength um, just to, to clamp that rope off there. Now it's worth noting at this point that the Munter Hitch is strongest when both strands of rope are parallel, okay, so the climber side and the belayer's side are next to each other, okay, and that way you can rest a fall quite easily. And uh, once again, if you want to take in slack the other way, it'll flip over and then correct itself and there you have the Munter Hitch flowing quite nicely. Now you can belay off your harness, what I'll do is I'll just clip this onto my belay loop like so, tighten that off. Now you can use this hitch to belay a top rope climber, so I'll just sling this over my shoulder like so. Okay, so now we have uh, a climbing situation where this is the climber's end here, going up to the anchor and down, and this is the belay side. So as normal, if you wanted to take in slack when you're with your top rope climber, you would just pull it in like so, the Munter Hitch flips over and corrects, and then you just take in slack like so. Now if the climber falls in the top rope situation, our natural reaction is to bring the brake hand down, okay, like you would do with a normal ATC or Grigri or whatever. Now that's fine, it will lock off and it will catch the climber, but there's a lot less friction in the Munter Hitch. It's a lot more effective, as I said before, if you bring your brake hand up like so. This is the strongest position because the brake end of the rope and the climber's end are parallel, they're next to each other, as opposed to just being in opposite directions like that. So it's it's slightly awkward. I mean, if you have the strength and you know the, the confidence to do it, I would probably catch a top rope climber like this with the brake hand up as opposed to down like this, as if you were using a regular ATC. But it's, you know, either way is acceptable. I would personally do it like this. A lot of people, when they're belaying with the Munter Hitch, they use a ground anchor, so they've got a little bit more leverage and they can just pull up and they've got a bit more distance between the carabiner and the brake end of the rope, uh, brake hand, excuse me. But uh, as I said, it's personal preference. So there we go. There's your Munter Hitch, or Italian Hitch. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. For more videos like this, check out obsessionclimbing.com. And thanks for watching.